I would like to thank Terry B. Moore for sending me this story coming out of Cobb County, uh, I believe it's Cobb, uh, no, Coweta County, Georgia. And Subway is the main focal point of the story. And I had posted up on my Twitter account how I see, seems to me now I'm getting daily emails from my subscribers about some white person calling the cops on black people. It could be black kids, whether boy or girl, black people, man or woman, or black families. This falls into the category of black families because apparently, and we're going to dub this person Subway Sally, who decided that she felt so threatened by this black family because apparently them sitting inside of a subway for over an hour and going back and forth to the restroom is a threat on her life. I'm not making this up. She called the cops on this black family just because they were eating and they were enjoying their food and because they were going back and forth to the restroom. Um, it's human nature to use the restroom. What do you expect them to do? Sit there and piss and or shit on themselves? And thus make a mess all over the establishment? Like, it is out of control. The amount, the amount of lengths that they will go to try to get us into trouble. and Or try to get us caught up in something. As a matter of fact, when I was coming back from the movies today seeing Ant-Man and the Wasp, on CNN, the headline said, Living While Black. And they were talking about the guy at the pool. Because that be, that's the latest, most viral uh, video going around talking about the ridiculousness of these obscene calls that white people are making to the police because a black person just happens to be around. I saw another story, well, not a story, but a video where this white lady called the cops on these black teens at the zoo because they were raising funds for their football team. Ironically, the white woman calling from the zoo, seeing as how that's her natural habitat. I'm like, if she didn't want them there and she was the employee, why didn't she just ask them to leave? Why did she call the cops? Oh, I know why. She was trying to get them hemmed up. See, I said this. You know what? I said this in the past before all of this stuff started to become a trend. They are using the police as a weapon. But see, the thing is, notice that a lot of these police that are coming to, you know, deal with these situations that nothing is happening. They're just coming because they have to. And it's protocol for them just to come because they can't just not show up. Even if it's not a quote unquote emergency. But this is absolutely crazy about what, you know, what's going on. Let me go ahead and read what she, what she said. She said, I need somebody to come through here ASAP now. There's about eight people in a van and they've been in the store for about an hour. They keep going back and forth to the bathrooms by my back door. Now, the way that it was written, she's making it seem like this is an extreme emergency as if someone's about to rob the place or if somebody's threatening her life, like with a gun or any type of weapon that can kill her. They're just in the store enjoying their food and going to the restroom. There's no harm in that. Now, remember what happened back in Philly a few months ago with Starbucks. Oh, they first they said they, they said because they um, weren't getting anything that, you know, we got to call them to get them out of here. And then you had the one in California with the Starbucks where the guy was trying to use the restroom, but they said you had to order something. But the, he called him in the lie when the white guy came out of the restroom and he said he didn't order anything, but he was able to get the cold and the black guy couldn't. I'm telling you, they are something else. So apparently we can't barbecue in the park. We can't sell water. We can't go to the pool. We can't go to Subway. We can't go to the zoo. Uh, I would say the one with the train, but that was with another white guy. I'm talking about the one with the burrito. The one I did a story on. You can't do that either. Might as well throw that in because they eventually they're going to go after us on that too. But they are literally trying to box us in to, you know, to not do anything without so their so-called approval we don't need their approval to do a daggone thing i can do whatever i damn well please I, you know what i'd be sometimes wishing one of them motherfuckers tried that shit with me first off i would record just enough to have a case against them and then once i have just enough which will probably be only about a few seconds i'm dropping the phone and whatever else happens off camera didn't happen if you get my drift 
Y'all let me know what you think about this story down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next one. And also, if you can, donate to the PayPal. And if you would like to become a Patreon, the link is down below.